Hey there folks, this is GreenUXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. This is episode 33. In the last episode we made a start on the Undersea Cavern. And it's been pretty straightforward really. But not too linear like in like Final Fantasy 13 or something like that. Oh, this doesn't look good. This must be like the pathway towards prison, prison island. Do you reckon? Oh. So prison island isn't like a dungeon of itself. I'm pretty relieved. <laughs> We've had enough of a prison dungeon. Here's the moon dagger that you wanted. Uh, I didn't kill those humans, as you said. But why did you suddenly start to say such a thing? The blood smeared road might be the only way to lead us to the world we desire. Death gives birth to tears, and tears give birth to anger. When anger turns itself into rancor, it opens the wall. It's silly that I have to repeat it, and since once is enough. Well, I won't stop you if you want to do so, Lloyd. Anyway, he's called something like Dart. Aren't they the ones coming after you, Lloyd? It's all in my plan. What the hell is your plan, sir? Hmm, plan, huh? Now, let me tell you my plan. My plan is to get a hot prize from you. Oh. God. Tuts. She looks like LeBlanc from Bavay. Is it just me? Hey, you're disturbing my moment here. You're gonna pay for this. Why? Why is Lloyd here? She's the one she was giving the moon dagger to. God! Is this all part of your plot? My will is with Emperor Diaz. Namely, everything was planned by the god. You're still talking about that crap. You kill Lavitz. Let's settle the score now. Oh. I have the call in to reform the world. I have no time to pay attention to little things like Lavitz. Well, okay. <laughs> I am the one who torched your home to the ground. I am the one who deprived your friend of his life. And I hold the moon gem and the moon dagger in my hands. You abhor me, don't you? Uh, shit. A little bit. I'm heading to Mil- so sweet. Pursue me, if you can survive. Oh yeah, we was gonna go there anyway. Things got in the way. Easy, easy. Wait a minute. Don't be so hasty. It was nice of him giving you an invitation, but you gotta decline it. Oh crap. Here we go. We got another Dragoon. And it's Linus. It's time for the boss to end this too. It, it won't end it straight away, but pretty much an end to this. It's the last dungeon, and I think the last boss, I, I think it is. Oh god, here we go. There's a glitch on this boss, where if you use special Dragoon, and I think if you end the battle like that, um, or maybe just when you use special, it bugs the game out and you can't. You, it freezes. So, we're not going to be using special, but I will use Dragoon for the fire one. This might be a risky move, I know. But it'll up the firepower as well, so... I was thinking special. Special was still on my mind. <laughs> Never mind. Right, we're going to get rid of her first. He... Yeah, we'll get rid of her first. I think she'll be the more dangerous one. Eh, not too bad. 486 damage. I was expecting more, really, but not bad. Right, then. And I think we'd better do something about the damage we're going to take, and really quick. I'm going to be using Blossom Storm. And hopefully that'll help a hell of a lot. So, Rose Storm. Oh, that's right. Very good. Come on, there be Rose's turn now. So, good. I want to use a couple of items now. While they're both still on the field, I want to start... Oh, so I got that. Anyway, when they're both still on the, sh on the field, I want to use the attacks that can hit all enemies. Fire attacks, I mean. Gushy um, Magma, Flame Multi... Yeah, it hits them both, so that's good. 
Kinda. Pretty good. She doesn't seem to be taking much damage from magic. Oh shit, what are they doing? That doesn't look good. It actually does. It looks pretty impressive for the PS1. Oh. Oh. It's like bottom swell. All over again. Well, okay, let's see what's. Final C7. Come on, Dark Age. Oh, oof. going flying. Shit, you know. Ah, oh, it didn't do more to Dark like I thought it would. Oop, ah. Oh. But then Dragoon form is. It's not bad at all, is it? You know what? Can use final burst on him instead, since it seems to be affecting him more. Magic. Ooh, yeah, definitely more damage to him. 1098 when he was only like 400 odd, 500 to her. Yeah. Definitely worth it. I don't mind when she attacks someone in Dragoon form. <laughs> At least she's not attacking Rose. That could be bad. Uh, 20 MP. We've only got enough for another one Rose Storm, so I'm going to keep that for now. Oh, he's on yellow. Nice. Yeah, perfect. She's getting better than I think. Hundred fifty one, pretty good actually. I'm surprised. No. I really like the boss design. We have got more fiery ones, haven't we? Oh, only burnouts that go against one. You know what, we'll keep them for when it's just the dragon left and just go for attacks now. So it's an 18 damage, not bad, see? She has got shit normal uh, normal defense. Physical defense. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> There's me saying last time. Get better at them, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, not that good. Probably because I missed perfect. <laughs> yeah, he don't seem to be doing much. It seems to be her who's doing the, the brunt of the damage in this fight. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Don't think. Oh, oh, God. Look at him just floating about in the water. Oh, Albert took a lot of damage today. I think I'll just... Have we got a healing potion? No? Then we'll use a healing breeze. That'll sort us out for a bit longer. I prefer to be doing damage every turn with every character, but that's not going to happen in this fight, obviously. She's on yellow. Good. Yeah, die, bitch. Oh, I didn't perfect it. I thought I did. I thought I pressed it right. It's easier just to use normal addition attacks than to do that sort of thing. For me, anyway. Uh-oh. Not good. None of them are in Dragoon form. Oh well. We'll survive, I'm sure. I should have put better additions on. Good. They both use weak, weak moves this round, so... Oh, she's on red. 
Amazing. Go again. Will this be enough? No, not quite. Another round of physical attacks and I'm sure it'll be enough. Probably. Um, is she gone? Did, did she just vanish? Or is it just for this attack animation? No, nope, she's still it. <laughs> she just went away for a bit. Went on all these. That's what she did. I heard the noise. I think she's dead. Yeah! I got a deep gash! Oh. <laughs> Oh, I just found my name for the episode. Okay, onto the magic. Uh, what can we do with it? I think if we get Burnout on the go. Even if it's not the most powerful fire item magic. It should be good, considering the boss is low defense and elemental weakness to it. 200, yes! Yeah, pretty good. Not bad, anyway. Better than his physical attacks, that's for sure. Uh, keep up with burnouts, might as well use them all. They're only using up space in our inventory anyway. Six hundred and sixty six. I probably I think it probably did more damage because he has higher magic attack, maybe. Or maybe it's because he's a fire type himself, I'm not sure. Oh he's on red now. Yes! Could this be the hit that does it for us? Could it be? Yes! We did it! How dare you die? Wait, got a jeweled crown? Maybe Shana and the only character can use them. And a frozen jet, which is probably going to be a really powerful one. Water spell. Rose leveled up. And Albert. Wow. Loads of people leveled up there. We didn't use many additions, so that's not going to be good. Uh, oh yeah, Mayo got her Dragoon Spirit as well, didn't she? Ah, uh, spoilers, here it is. <laughs> so, we've got every Dragoon Spirit you can collect in the game now. 
we got Congos early. And so we don't even have to worry about any of that anymore. And now she now Mayu can have a healing spell. I'm not sure if it's a first dragoon level that has it or not. It's probably just a water based spell, the first one. But she can't get one. Maru! Oh, I'm surprised that Maru was recognised. Because <laughs> of her personality or what? Does that mean this dragoon spirit chose me? It did indeed. It means my one of the dragoons? It does indeed. Yeah, blue sea dragoon spirit. I am a Dragoon too! <laughs> dragoon spirits attract each other, and Dragoons gather as the Dragon Spirit desires, as so as fate leads. Are we drawn to each other like that? Is that what you were saying? It's just folklore. <laughs> You're going to pursue Lloyd, aren't you? Well yeah, we're going to carry on chasing him. Unfortunately, we have to go meet King Zeo to tell him we couldn't bring the Moon Dagger back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Aren't you hurt? No, thanks to you, Dart. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just stay there now. You got your dragon spirit. You can just stay there now for the rest of your life. Hey guys, don't you ignore me like that? Hey, wait for me. <laughs> uh, awkward. <laughs> Ah, oh, do we have to go all the way out? I'll see you on the other side, you've seen it all. There we go, we made it all the way back to Fueno. Which I'm sure is the way we need to go. Considering the other way was a pretty derelict town. Right, oh hello, you're still here. <laughs> I'm gonna guess we need to go to the port. Wait, let's rest at the end first. I'm really weak now after all that. I used one of those healing, random healing ball things. It didn't work out that well. Okay, all healed up. Let's go to the port. And I'm willing to bet that's where we need to go, but if not... Who knows? We're going back on the ship. Oh yeah, back on the Queen Fury all the way back. I'm hoping we don't have to actually see anything on the Queen Fury again. We've seen it, you know? It was good, but we've seen it. Dart, I've heard about you. You successfully defeated the monster on the prison island. And the female bandit. Uh-huh. One less villain to worry about? What's wrong? You have a long face. You're ready to go back to Flets and triumph. What's wrong with my long face? We can get the moon dagger back. No. I like the ocean. Oh <laughs> god, it's got the attention span of a gnat. Let's self flow in the waves and winds. The problems of this world become not a problem at all. Oh, I get ya. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you would make a good sailor, or even a great man of the sea. Well, not right now, sir. Not bad. I can't. Let's just go for it. I still have something to take care of. I understand. It's a shame, though. Dart, as soon as you're ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boat. <laughs> yeah, let's get going. I want to talk to her again. I always talk to her. Oh, we have to. That's why, then. <laughs> Casting off. Getting ready to cast off. Oh, we actually get a controller this time. Press square to go on board. Oh, there's battles on the ship. What? What? Wow. I didn't see this coming. Oh, it's just one of them. But I just wanted to see the, the design of what we're battling on more than anything. Too easy. 
I haven't checked on how the additions are doing for a while now. Ooh, 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 ooh! Dragoon level 3, Gas Plus. I think that's like a more powerful version of his level 1 spell. So wind damage against probably all enemies. We'll see another fight coming up, I'm sure. Dunno. We actually need to get to the other town. Not dunno. Um, oh, crap. Um, um, um. The one nearby, anyway. Through the barrens again. Oh, no, we don't have to go through the barrens again. I think we do. I'll see you over there. And we're back. Rose actually leveled up on the way back, so... Good stuff. She needs the HP. Albert's nearly done with Harpoon now as well. He's on level 4, I think it is, so... Yep. Okay, let's go see the king then. Give him the bad news. I'm not sure exactly when this to end, so... Uh... <laughs> it could be this episode, or it might not be. Okay, let's see how Princess Emily is now. Now that it's actually her. Her graceful steps. Her dainty movement of the hands. We all love her now. Her gracious eyes. She must be... She is our Princess Emily. Yay. <laughs> I guess now is finally wrapping it up fully. <laughs> I'm all wide awake now. Actually, if I had that much, they'd probably be constantly tired. <laughs> My father, King Zio, wouldn't say it, but I heard that the evil doings of the sinner, who feigned to be me, has harmed our people in Tiburoa. I can say it is my fault, because people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I'm determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. It wasn't your fault, your majesty. Please do not blame yourself, your highness. Yeah. The returning only makes us happy. I owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let's make this country continue to be a wonderful country. Yeah. I have a feather. Uh, fe <laughs> she has a feather to ask us. Princess Emily. May I ask you to name my baby, my soon to be born baby, your highness? It would be my pleasure. Emily. <laughs> Call it Emily. <laughs> Call all your babies, Emily. How about Aye, Aye for a girl and Al for a boy? They have the sound of great energy and strength. They're beautiful names. I thank you very much, Your Highness. God bless Princess Emily. God bless Tiburoa Kingdom. All the best for the kingdom and us. Yeah. So, stark contrast between Emily and the fake Emily. As we'd expect. Oh, Princess Emily, how beautiful she is. Albert. Just like I imagined. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Emily. Oh, God, he's off. Is something wrong? Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> Where's Princess Emily? Oh, she went about a half hour ago. You can meet her again in the castle. Yay, let's go. <laughs> let's go, 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 go. <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, hello. We have been waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Um, That was the one at the back, wasn't it? Like, up here and back. I think so, anyway. Yeah, okay. Time for the disappointed news, sir. Heroes, forget about formality. You're the special guests of Tiburoa. Welcome back. I'm glad you are safe and sound. Yeah, we had some trouble again. <laughs> well, there I'm back. My sister is now acting as if nothing happened. But until you came back, King Albert, she had lost her appetite completely. It's not only Emily. We were longing for all of you to come back. Well done. Oh, don't say well done. <laughs> the Moondrag is still in their hands. Stop it! You people brought justice upon the evil bandits. You defeated the sea dragon and infested Belisa Bay. 
It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiberoa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the Moondag has to be passed on to Princess Emily. Moondag is a mere royal tradition. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, right? Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. That's all the Moondagger can be. King Albert, we are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the Moondagger, we found something else to hand down. That is, the heroic story, 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 we have you. It will be passed down through the ages from person to person. The seven stars arose from the east to save the country of the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. Oh, okay. It was my pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for formality. We are having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. Another banquet! Is a banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes, it is. Cool, it's a party. A party for us. Oh, Meru, behave and be quiet. <laughs> She's cheerful and excited. We still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Let's prepare for the banquet. Yeah! We had a meal before as well. When we saw how magnetic Emily was. Or the old Emily. Seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It's a good chance to relax. Milsa Sri, the country where Dart was born. Oh, we'll be busy again. We will. I'll be walking around till the party starts. Okay, what do we need to do? Where are you going? I have an errand to do. <laughs> Let me go too. Yeah, I know where you're going. You have to appreciate what everyone did. We might as well just make this a bit of a longer episode and keep going to the end, maybe. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? Where are we going? What are we doing? Ah. I love you, Dart. Will he, will he say it back? Since I was little, it never changed, even when you went on your journey, Dart. Actually, I started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shana. So, I don't mind being your baby sister, because I can be with you every day. That's just how I think. I I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shana. I... Let's continue this after our journey is over, alright? Oh, Okay. Pinky promise. Dad, welcome back. Well, <laughs> awkward. What's wrong? You have such a sour face. You you think so? Someone's been eating his Haribo. Anyway, <laughs> you're famous in the city. The hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiberoa. If you say so, it still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Oh. By the way, the party is starting. Give a dear sour face and be happy. See you later. Should we be eating sweets before a meal? Seriously. Ah. Uh. Oh, Mr. Dart, Miss Shanna, why are you here? Oh, God, life. Can't have any peace. We're waiting for the party to start. It's starting soon. Oh, please get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Later then. I'm gonna look for everybody. Wait. No. <laughs> Missed opportunities. Okay. Where the hell am I meant to go to collect everyone? Am I supposed to? We'll check the top of this tower. I don't expect they'd be in the tower, I'm probably just meant to go back for the meal, but I just don't know. Why would someone be skulking around in this tower, in this bedroom? Ah, oh, we do have to come here then. A strong heart. A passionate eye. A fabulous man. <laughs> Sigh. Oh, Dart, how long have you been here? Oh, God, not someone else as well. <laughs> how may I help you? 
Everyone's looking forward to attending the party tonight. Of course, I am too. Um, was we even meant to come up here then or not? Oh, booty. <laughs> to tell the princess to go to bed when she won't. It's quite funny, actually. All the way back down. How backtracky. I wonder if we did have to talk to her or not. It went into like a little scene sort of thing, so... I'm not sure. I'm just going to go back for a meal, I think. Good. <laughs> Nothing in there. Just checking. Ah, let's go. I mean, Shana was looking for everyone else. Why do we need to? Yeah. <laughs> just a peek is fine. I want to see the party food. We're not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. That's eating. Come on, please get out. You're delaying the preparation. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Dark, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. That's a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? Yeah. Stop it. You're not a kid anymore. <laughs> you too, Hush Hushle. The party is starting soon. Behave yourself. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go. Okay. And I guess that Albert might be training? I would have thought he would be spying, stalking Emily, but... Oh, okay, Congo. I thought somebody would be in you. Yeah, you have friends, sir. Different species? Yeah, okay. Not bad. Whoa! <laughs> Nearly had one less friend then. That's what I should say. <laughs> Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party is starting. How about you? Do we have to talk to you? No. Well, I am trying to. I'm having a bit of an issue. <laughs> the bedroom. I've been in the bedroom. Yes, Rose. I'm a hero. Mm -hmm. He would laugh at me. I can't see. I laugh now. I did laugh. You don't laugh very often. Since I've started to wear this choker, I've not laughed for years. It was worth the wait. <laughs> you're such a weirdo. Oh, you're here. I'm here to tell you that the party is starting. It'll be a fun party. I'm sure it will. Okay. Try this way. Oh, it's the top of the other tower, isn't it? Oh, wait, we won't be known yet. Okay, it just brought us to the top. I... The amount of times we've climbed these towers, it's just. It gets a bit tedious by this point, I think. Do you know about the legend of the mermaid? No, please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking. His life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Oh my, what happened to the two of them? Would you like to know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a secret story handed down only within the Sergio royal family, so I cannot tell you anymore. Oh, I'm sorry I cannot go on. Oh, you are teasing me. <laughs> But I'm having a fabulous time. I don't notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. Oh. I knew it. You were here. Of course he is. Is something wrong? The party is starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. Unfortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? When the stars fill the sky. <laughs> you can simply say tonight. At the party. Of course. 
That's everybody. I was just taking us there. Thank God for that. Didn't want to walk back. Oh, they might not actually be doing that. And rules. Albert. Come on, Boot. By the way, she was saying something about dresses. But where should we go? We have to ask Lib Libria about it. Oh, all the way back down. See, we wouldn't have had to have backtracked so much if we had just gone for Congo last. Well, we probably would have actually. We still would have had to have gone back down the tower. But no, it would have been more efficient to me if we'd just come here last. It seems everyone is here. Mm -hmm. Miss Shanna, Miss Rose, Miss Maru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. Dresses? You're talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emily and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you. Mm -hmm. No thanks. It's not like you. Because I'm a dancer. I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me either. <laughs> I feel naked without my sword. You can still have your sword. Please wait in the living room. I'll come and take you there later. Oh, Jashana then. Oh, this is a living room. With beds. Well, okay. Everything's ready. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Yeah, let's get going. Ooh, ball music. It's a banquet to honour the seven heroes who saved Tiberoa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. Okie doke. Let's have a little talk with everyone. Yeah, start with Congo. <laughs> what did you do to Shana? Do? I didn't do anything. No Shana here. Oh. Oh. Congo told. Congo doesn't see from here. Oh. Where is she? Can you see through walls? Mr. Dart. Wait for us. This is weird. The dancers, like the two dancers together, they're like part of the pre-rendered background. I think. <laughs> oh god. Oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Ugh. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. Why don't you go and enjoy yourself with Shanna? <laughs> At least tonight you have to make good use of the time the two of you are together. Thank you. Well, okay, that's very selfless of you, sir. <laughs> Let's talk to her next, then. You enjoying yourself? Yep, it's fun! You gonna dance too? Yeah, go on then. I'll try. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this was awkward when Squall tried to dance. Squall! <laughs> I dunno. Go look for her. She'll be waiting for you. Yeah, but wait. Come on, go! You're the star of the night. Yeah, you are a backdrop. Uh, literally, like a pre-rendered backdrop thing, maybe. I know, but I don't, I don't know where. <laughs> I have to go to Milsasui with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever. Emily, well said. The future of Sergio and Tibro is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. Well, it sort of withers away a bit, but... And distance makes the love grow deeper. I cannot watch this anymore. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? You have a long face. Oh my god, why does everyone keep on about my long face? <laughs> if you're looking for Shanna, she's not here. Well. Ooh, ooh, here we go. We did have to talk to him all. Miss Rose needs you. Oh. This way. Alright. We really want to go and talk to Shanna, but if we must. Rose? Dart, why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold? Or something? Making her wait all night like that? She's over there. Oh yeah. Oh my god, she looks different. I love when I do this in games. Give them different costumes and things. Not like in Lightning Returns, where you can just change costumes whenever, but just as sort of rare instances in games. 
But it's all thanks to this dress. That's not true. Look, a falling star. Quite a few of them. I wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish the same thing. Ow. I sort of knew the screen would black out at that point. <gasps> we made it to the end of disc two! Yeah! <laughs> I was wondering when it was going to come. Okay, so let's save over that top one there. Let's see what it says now. Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. Okay, so this has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we make a start on disc. Chapter 3. See you in a bit, folks.